The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat Al-Qaeda. All you gotta do is start looking around, start thinking for yourself, start investigating things, and you will see it all right there. So you have the power, humanity has the power, we have the power. Do you wanna fight? You better believe you got one! Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. And for me, give me liberty or give me death! The answer to 1984 is 1776. Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's Monday, June 3rd, 2013, and here are our top stories. Tonight on the InfoWars Nightly News, InfoWars brings you the latest from Bilderberg. Then, Rand Paul pushes for legalization of industrial hemp. And Motorola introduces not only a tattoo, but a pill to track everything you do. All that and more coming up on the InfoWars Nightly News. Well, Alex Jones is now in Watford, UK, covering this year's Bilderberg meeting. It was concerned that he might not be allowed into the country after what happened to Michael Savage a few years ago. And in fact, Alex was hassled and delayed more than other staff who traveled separately. But he is there now, and he is joined by other reporters, uh, Paul Joseph Watson, Leanne McAdoo, and staffer Richard Reeves. Now, the official Bilderberg attendee list has been released, and we know who's on the other side this year. Besides usual suspects of bankers and politicians, we have uh, internet gi uh, giant Amazon.com's Jeff Bezos is there. And, uh, of course, Google's Eric Schmidt is there. And we also have David Petraeus there, along with his new best friend, war criminal Henry Kissinger. Now, InfoWars reporters have confronted Bilderberg security over canceled reservations. Now on the list, we see the owners of mainstream media, but of course, their journalists were not only silent, but they also in past years have attacked real reporters who actually talked about the secretive meeting. They don't like real reporters being there either. And so what they did in this particular case was even though we had reservations for InfoWars staff well in advance, and for days that had not been blocked out for the Bilderberg meeting, they were canceled at the very last minute in violation of discrimination rules. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. It's Greg, it's Kate, it's Andrew. Can I ask you to turn your cameras off, please? Uh, well, actually, uh, now we were wondering what, uh, why our reservation has been canceled. Is, is that correct? Your reservations has been can have been canceled, as you're fully aware. Okay? We're not at liberty to say anymore. But you know that under European Law 2010 Equality Act, you can't discriminate against somebody by denying them services okay, or a so hotel room. Like I said, I'm not at liberty to say any more. And I'm not going to discuss, discuss legal terms with you either. Okay, we, don't, we don't necessarily need to give you a reason. Well, you do under the law. Well, not everyone has sold out to the Bilderberg Group. A senior Watford politician is slamming the Bilderberg security operation. InfoWars reports a Watford Borough Council cabinet member has described the security operations surrounding the secretive Bilderberg meeting set to take place at the Grove Hotel in Watford, England as disgraceful. Residents fear that these last minute decisions, which will impact massively on their lives, will set the precedent for any future events of this type or scale which the Grove is actively seeking to run, he says. When, in just over a week's time, the circus has left town, we will have to pick up the pieces, sort out the mess, make good any damage caused by the grove of Chandler's Cross will just sit back and enjoy its global acclamation, said the counselor. Well, you can follow all the latest breaking news at Infowars.com forward slash B. Everything that's going to be happening at Bilderberg, there's going to be a lot going on this week, and we're going to be posting it there. There's going to be uh, people from uh, David Icke to Luke Radowski. So follow all the latest breaking news again. That's at Infowars.com forward slash B. And that brings us to our quote of the day from an Argentinian, Jorge Luis Borges. He says, the future is inevitable and precise, but it may not occur. God lurks in the gaps. 
God doesn't just lurk in the gaps. He's in control, folks. And, uh, you know, there's uh, speaking of Henry Kissinger, I guess his arch nemesis, Christopher Hitchens, who wrote the book, The Trials of Henry Kissinger, that you saw a clip of that movie in that previous report. It was reported of seeing Henry Kissinger in the Sistine Chapel looking at Michelangelo's painting and staring at the section of hell, and Christopher Hitchens says, I guess he's apartment shopping. Well, we should all remember that there's consequences for what we do in life and certainly for the kinds of things that Henry Kissinger has been involved in and that uh, we're worried that are being contemplated at the Bilderberg Group. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're going to get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I-beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more. Coming in the month of June to the Infowar.